What's up, everyone? It's Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the UCLA versus Gonzaga college basketball matchup going down Thursday, March 23rd, 2023. Before we get to that free pick, got to let you guys know, PickDogs.com, we're doing it bigger and better than anyone else. Got more free pick videos on our channel than you'll find anywhere else on YouTube, so make sure you're subscribed. And also take advantage of our free sportsbook bonus offer. The link in the description of this video below. And while I do love giving out free picks, if you're looking for my best bets, the games I love the most, including my daily $15 best bet, check out PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between UCLA and Gonzaga. This should be another great one um, as we move on to the, uh, the Sweet 16 of the NCAA Tournament. And you had Gonzaga taking out TCU 84-81 to in a game that was probably a little bit closer uh, on the final scoreboard than the actual game would indicate. You know, a lot of people were uh, affected by that last shot from TCU at the end of that game. Meanwhile, UCLA coming in off a 68-63 to win over Northwestern in the round of 32. So now you have a, a clash of styles here as you have the number one most efficient offense in the country uh, in the Gonzaga Bulldogs against the second most efficient defense in UCLA. Like I said, complete clash of styles here. You flip it to when UCLA's got the ball. You know, Gonzaga doesn't play a ton of defense, but this is a UCLA team that, yes, they're efficient, but they also play at a bit of a slower pace. 213th of the country in adjusted, uh, excuse me, an average possession length on offense. And, uh, you know, I think this is going to be about UCLA trying to slow the game down and not let Gonzaga turn this into a bit of a higher scoring game. Because this is going to be a, a, a real test, you know, for, for UCLA. I talked about it when they were playing UNC Asheville. It proved to be no issue um, with the loss of Jalen Clark. But you take away a, a, a big-time scorer in Clark, these are the kinds of matchups where you're going to have to, it's going to be a bit of a gut check for UCLA. Don't get me wrong, this is still a talented UCLA team, you know, with the likes of, you know, Jaime Jaquez Jr., Tiger Campbell. But David Singleton now dealing with a bit of an injury. He says he's fine. We'll have to see if that ends up being the case. But this is a, a Gonzaga team that's really talented from, from one through five. And they like to get out. They like to score. They like to turn this into a track meet. And with their defense, sometimes they don't even really really have a choice but to turn it into a track meet. But I just think it's going to be a bit of a lower scoring game in this one. I think 145 and a half, just too high here. Um, I could see this being sort of a 74 to 70 or 72 to 69 kind of game. Whichever way you have it going. I see it getting into the 140s, but 145 and a half to me just seems a bit too high. Um, I liked Gonzaga originally when the line was around two and a half or three, but around one and a half now, it almost feels like a bit of a no play to me. I could feel it, I could feel it going either way at one and a half. Um, so I'm gonna go with the under in this one. Um, sort of buck public perception about Gonzaga's defense and go with a bit of a lower scoring game in this one. And that's gonna be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Smash the like button. Hit that thumbs up. It doesn't cost you a cent. It helps us out a ton. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you'll want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon.